Hello everyone, I'm B, and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about spawners and where you buy them and how to set them up. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is how to get the spawners. So the easiest way is typing in slash spawner shop and this will take you straight to the spawner shop over here and over here you see spawners over here over there and over there the second way to get there is typing in slash shop and then turning right then heading over this way and you will walk into the spawner shop the third way again is to type slash shop and Usually you would maybe use this when you're going from somewhere else in the shop to try get spawners. But you can come to this beacon and right click it and it will fly you all the way over to the spawner shop. Once you arrive at the spawner shop, you will see a whole different assortment of spawners. But in this video, we're just going to talk about the basic tier ones. So these are the spawners that you are going to use from headhunting 1 to headhunting 5. They start with a pig at headhunting 1, then headhunting 2 is sheep, headhunting 3 is chicken, headhunting 4 is rabbit, and headhunting 5 is horse. So you also get soul mobs and money mobs. As you can see, they have like a little title over them saying okay this is the money mob and this is a soul mob so money mob the mobs heads sell for a lot more than normal mobs heads would sell for and soul mobs just give you more souls in general now you can only use the soul mob and the money mob once you've got to a hundred percent with your pig head hunting level so all of these are easy to kill besides the horses. The horses are a nightmare to kill because they are not one hit. So it takes a while to grind them. All right, so luckily for us, basic spawners are the easiest ones to set up. So <laughs> we can start by building a nine by nine out of grass. So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we can just fill this in. Alright, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get five glowstone and place one in each of the corners. Alright, and then what I just like to do is I like to put a glowstone in the very middle of the platform. So sadly the shops don't sell fences so you're going to have to make your own. You're gonna need 15 logs and then just make them like this. Then what I like to do is I like to place them around the outside so that the mobs won't fall off while you're trying to grind them. Next, what you can do is you can just make yourself a carpet and put it on top of the fence because then you can climb in and out and you don't really need a fence gate. Lastly what you can do is just place down your spawners and if you shift and right click onto the spawner that you already placed down they will stack and as you can see my pigs have spawned if I place down sheep the sheep will spawn. If I place down chickens the chickens will also spawn over here I place down the rabbits then they've spawned over here 
And the same for cow. If you place down a cow spawner, they will also spawn on this. Now, to break spawners, you have to use a silk touch pickaxe. Um, and whenever you break them, make sure that clear lag isn't soon because you don't want your spawners to clear lag. So you just mine them with a... Yeah, <laughs> I thought I didn't pick them up for a second. You mine them with a silk touch pickaxe and they will drop and you can pick them up. So you get silk touch from the enchant shop, which I talked about in previous videos. So you just go there and you can buy silk touch on your pickaxe. Or if you're lucky and you have charms or anything like that, you can sometimes get a primal pickaxe, which will usually have silk touch on it. So the last basic spawner we're going to speak about is mushrooms. And they are a little bit different from the rest of them because they mushrooms have to spawn on mycelium, which is different obviously to grass. Now, if you want, you can put a little patch of mycelium in here or you can make a whole separate place for them. But they will not spawn on normal grass. They have to spawn on mycelium. All right, that is going to be it for today's video. In the next video, I will be talking about advanced spawners and how to set them up. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button so you can get notified of more videos with top tips on how to quickly master this game. Until next time.